Well, this holiday season, plenty of people are going to go on vacation and then come back home with a souvenir. Mm -hmm. Thing is, some souvenirs can be just a little bit more problematic than the others. Fox 5's Josh Rose with those at Dulles Dunn Hour Customs officials recently had, and I apologize for the pun here, <laughs> a bone to pick with one returning traveler. Ask people what they've got in their luggage, and most answers will sound like this. I have my clothes, my books. Money, clothes. However, as it turns out, people try to bring plenty of other stuff through Dulles Airport too. You name it, I've seen I've seen it. Crazy. There are crazy, crazy things out there that people try to bring into the US. That includes these zebra and giraffe bones that were seized just late last month. Christopher Brewer says a woman found them while on vacation in Kenya. That one was a first for me. Um, I've seen similar things. Uh, nothing surprises me anymore in this job. With good reason. After US Customs and Border Protection tweeted about the bones, we asked what else they found at Dulles. And it turns out, a lot. I've seen people bring everything. Like this charred bat meat found in the baggage of a man who arrived from Ghana. Also, this stew containing iguana eggs and beef. And the list keeps on going from there. About two years ago, one of our um, officers uh, notified us that they uh, had a passenger that had a baboon skull. Broke a person's heart a couple years back. We took an entire prosciutto ham. They spent like $900 on the thing. We've had whole sides of cows literally shoved into uh, um, big uh, canvas bags. The smells are interesting sometimes <laughs> of the stuff we encounter. I've had passengers stand in front of me and just pick the maggot up and pop it in their mouth like it's nothing. Yeah, different strokes for different folks. But no matter what you bring back this holiday season, Brewer says, just remember this. And when you do come back to the U.S., just declare it to us. Let us know about it and let us make the decision because even if it's prohibited, you won't get into trouble. We'll just take it. That, that's that's the worst outcome as we just take it is when you don't declare to us that issues start from line no before you go we've posted some helpful tips on fox5dc.com guys